Hey, hello folks, this is Jamil Surfer for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, the home base of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, Marty? Good. Hey, Marty, guess what? Um, just recently, you changed the front sight on my 856 mm -hmm. Defender. Mm -hmm. That's a great little job that you did. You taught me quite a bit about it. But while I was digging in the box for on the revolver, I was going looking for some instructions or whatever, this popped out of it. Uh, believe it or not, it comes with two grips. It comes with a Hogue um, rubber grip with the finger grooves, and it also has the carry type um, grip. It's also a rubber grip. Uh, this is a Taurus brand. So um, this is the, actually the, the same grip that comes in the 952-22 long rifle revolver. So, Marty, there you go. There we go. Let's change the grips. Okay. Because, I mean, actually, nothing wrong with the Hogue, but the little Taurus one is a little shorter for if you want to conceal carry it, it is not going to snag on, or print a little less. It's just slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. And it's not a bad grip at all. No. No. So let's no go ahead and change it so people know what to do. Okay, so I have a gun closed here, so we want to make sure it's got no bullets in it. But uh, this is fairly simple. We're going to use our, our Brownell screwdriver or Taurus grip. It comes with a roll pin that's going to go through here, but we're going to remove the bottom screw here on our Hogue grip, right? And all Hogue grips really have, at least on revolvers, have this, this style of grip here. So it's kind of stuck in the rubber a little bit. That's okay. So what you do is... I kind of put this up against uh, my belly here a little bit to kind of pull at it. And that roll pin just fell right out, right? But uh, that's the end here. And you'll notice that this is kind of short. This is, this is short, right, that for, for the Hogue, right? So that was easy enough to get off. And then all we're going to do is we're going to slip this on. Now, some of you might have curiosity or something. There should be no reason to get into the spring or anything else like that. You know, I, I know a lot of people get into trouble when they decide to take some gun parts of, apart, right? So just because it's here doesn't mean you should mess with it, but it, it's a good idea just to leave it alone. You know, if you want to dip some oil or, you know, squirt some oil in there or something, you know, and then wipe it out, you don't really need to do a whole lot with it. But if there's any dust or lint, you know, maybe you can get it out. But uh, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this on here, right? up nice and tight and I'm gonna look you know look at the hole here right and I can even kind of probe the punch through here just to see where I'm at you know and right now it's a little off so now okay got that to go through right and so because this is rubber this is actually gonna start fairly easy right I can I can you know even if I wanted to I could take some like uh, some oil or some Vaseline or something and just put it on there just so it doesn't it doesn't cause an issue with the uh, with the pin going in through the grip right but uh, I'm just gonna sit here and tap on it with the with the plastic side of my uh, my mallet here right and then my last little bit I'm just gonna take the brass side just and then I'm just going to check and see the other side, right? And I can go a little bit deeper just so it looks even, so one side's not sticking out too far. So one more time, just going to come in. And like I say, I don't, I'm not starting above my head, as you can see. I'm not getting this gigantic swing on this. This is a very light hammer. I'm tapping this in. I'm basically using, I'm basically just using motion on my wrist, not, not a ton of force. You decide to put a ton of force behind even just a, a, a punch here, right? You're gonna bend the punch. I've got tons of busted and bent punches for no reason, right? But you know, even just with the amount of force here, but you don't need a ton is, what, is really what I'm saying as far as the amount of force that you're putting into this, right? But you can see our pin's not sticking out of the other side, right? It's flush on both sides. And that is our grip install. There you go. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels different. It's not bad, it's not better, it's not worse. It yeah. just feels different. It's a little shorter, and you lose the ability for your pinky to be fully rested on the grip, right. but the print uh, uh, size of the grip on the holster, this one is a Galco Combat Master, mm -hmm. it's a little smaller, so it's going to print less. Mm -hmm. And when you put it in your belt, or if you decided to put it in your um, night table or something right, right. like that, so uh, this is great that I found out that 
by shaking the box, there was something in there. I didn't even know there was some, an extra grip in there. Someone on our, uh, one of our viewers told me about it and I'm like, seriously, really? I go open the box and there it was. Right. So how many things do we have where we look inside of the box and we find that there was something else in there? Uh, that, that was important. <laughs> uh, well, the, the, the sheer amount of guns out there, the sheer amount of just different accessories. You, there's features in my iPhone. I have no idea what it is. I mean, well, just... me neither. Um, <laughs> that's why. That's why I get the simplest iPhone there is. Yeah. Um, so we found a front sight and we found a grip. Thank you, thank you, Marty. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And remember, if you guys need gunsmithing, EnloCustomGuns.com. EnloCustomGuns.com is the place for you to call Marty so he can do all this fantastic work for you. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Be safe and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.